everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Sweet potatoes. I guess that time of the year is here already. How time does fly. No wonder I feel so old right now. Come on, now, Grandpa. Let's go before they're all gone. Right. And you don't have to worry. I'll pay for them all. Step on it. Hurry up, Grandpa. You're taking oh, yeah. too long. Uh, you can't hurry, eat. Hurry. Uh, uh, oh, my on. shoes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You need it easy to wear a pair of shoes. Huh? Whoa. There he is! Hey, hold on! Hey! <laughs> hey, sweet potato vendor guy, hold on! Oh, hi, good evening. <laughs> oh, good, made it. Just in time. Can we have 500 yen's worth? 500 yen's worth coming up. <laughs> no, where's my wallet? <laughs> Uh, well, without any payment, I can't give them to you. Right. I understand. Hey, Grandpa, this is like that cartoon where the woman goes out shopping without any money. Yeah, true. So I'm a cartoon character. The difference is, in real life, going out shopping without any money isn't funny. Again, true. Somebody should explain this to that character. <laughs> I was looking forward to those potatoes. I even took the trouble to run after the vendor. It's your fault, Grandpa! Hey, stop crying over a matter as small as no sweet potatoes. It's so pathetic. Your dad's right, Maruko. Now cheer up, all right? Hey, let's go watch some TV. <laughs> okay, check this comedy show out, Maruko. It's so funny. If you watch this, you'll forget about sweet potatoes. Aww. Get your baked sweet potatoes here. <laughs> <laughs> Maruko, I'm so sorry. Please have patience. Next time I won't fail you. I'll make sure you have lots of baked sweet potatoes. Hey, what's up, old oh. man? What are you doing there? Hiroshi. Wait, don't tell me the sweet potato thing is still bothering you. Uh. <laughs> oh, bad potato. Oh, bad potato. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, Hiroshi. You're going to regret this. And if I'm old man potato and you're my son, then that makes you potato boy. The next day. That's what happened. So we couldn't buy any of them. Really? But 
You'll have many chances for sure. The vendor is always around. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, you never know when the guy's gonna show up, do you? <sighs> it's really hard to catch him if you're not ready. Yeah, that's true. Most times we run into him, we don't have any money on us. I get that. And when we do step out, he's never around. Yep, same here. I wish vendors would show up at the same place and same time as per a schedule. I know that kind of sweet potato vendor, boo. What? what? You serious? I see him every day around 3 in the afternoon in front of the grocery shop on 2nd Street, boo. Eh? Hey? Tama-chan, we should go take a look today after school. Mm. I'll come with you, boo. Mm, please do. You look like someone who likes a baked sweet potato. Even your name, Butaro, suggests exactly the same thing. The name Butaro suggests that I like sweet potatoes. Do you mean you imagine me letting one rip when you hear my name, Boo? Of course we do. Right, Tama-chan? Uh, I know I said what I said without thinking, but Maru-chan's right. It happens. I think about that as well. Baked sweet potato equals farting. Farting equals Butaro. I imagine it without realizing. Boo. That's why I said Butaro's name sounded like someone who liked baked sweet potatoes. No! Tammy's embarrassed. Imagining farting just by hearing the sound of the name Butaro was an unconscious thought, I swear. Not only that, this was pointed out by Butaro himself, the person in question. Mama chan don't you think because Butaro says boo all the time, he's a sweet potato lover? How are you not embarrassed by this, Maru-chan? <laughs> There's a real Christmas atmosphere at the shopping district. Ugh. Wow, seeing all of this gets me into that thrilling Christmassy mood. The town is sparkling all over. I love it. Yeah. Hey, about the big sweet potatoes, Boo. We were, we were talking, talking about Christmas, Butaro. I was just thinking, it isn't that appetizing when you bake one of them at home, Boo. Yeah, you're right. Something just isn't the same when you bake a sweet potato at home. Right. I wonder why that is. It's strange, isn't it? It only tastes good when it's bought from a sweet potato vendor, Boo. Ah, uh, there he is! Huh? That's the vendor, right? Uh, oh, my mouth is watering at the aroma. Yeah, I can't wait to have one, Boo. Huh? Huh? I saw you yesterday, sir. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm very sorry about yesterday, miss. Thanks. Grandpa forgot his wallet yesterday, but today... See this? I've got 50 yen to buy some today. Uh, 50 yen only? I'm afraid... What? 50 yen isn't enough? I've only got 50 yen on me, too. Yeah, me too, boo. I'm sorry, but the smallest sweet potato costs 200 yen. Oh, then. Boo, who knew baked sweet potatoes were so expensive? I'm sorry. You know what? Next time I'm coming to you with 200 yen, I'm really keen to try one of those sweet potatoes as they smell so good. Oh? So will I. Yeah, me too, Boo. Oh. Take care. We'll see you next time, sir. Don't catch a cold. Goodbye for now, Boo. See you then. <laughs> That girl, she came with her grandpa the first time, and then today she shows up with her friends. Each time she couldn't buy anything from me, but she'll come again. Hey kids, hang on a sec. Uh -huh. Can we help you with something, sir? Uh -huh. I forgot I have a sale going on, 50 yen for one. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'll be Christmas soon, right? It makes sense to have a Christmas sale during this season, doesn't it? Ah! Here you go. Thank you very much, really. With the clothes he has on and the smiling face, he looks like Santa Claus with the sun setting behind him. <sighs> Yummy. So good, Boo. That's it. This has got to be the best tasting baked sweet potato I've ever had in life. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Boo. I'm with you, too. Yeah, of course. Hey, Mom. Sorry 
I'm a bit late. Yes, it is late. Where did you run off to? Just to get a baked sweet potato, that's all. And it was the same vendor from yesterday. The original price was 200 yen per piece, but because he had a Christmas sale going on, he only charged me 50 yen for it. Sounds like you got quite lucky. 50 yen per piece is quite cheap. You should thank the vendor for this. It was really delicious, too. I've never had a better baked sweet potato. Tama-chan and Butaro had the same as well. I'm pretty sure that the vendor's good heart had a lot to do with that, Maruko. That's why you found his sweet potato so delicious. Huh? Wow, yeah. Sure, that's why. Mom is right. It was so gentle and warm, too. You know, I don't really care for home-baked sweet potatoes. They're just not as good as the vendors. <coughs> it's about the atmosphere and the way they make them. The others agree with me. A baked sweet potato simply has to be purchased. Maruko, shh! Huh? Grandpa's baking sweet potatoes in the yard as we speak. See, you were so loud and insistent on one yesterday. <coughs> Don't repeat to Grandpa what you just said to me. Are we clear? Oh, wow. I'm getting the aroma of baked sweet potatoes coming from the yard. That's so good. It's the aroma of my sweet Grandpa. This has to be the greatest Christmas gift I've ever received. In true Maruko style, she continues to mumble insincere words. <coughs> The cold weather gets the better of Maruko. Maru-chan! Let's go play! Maruko! Tama-chan's outside. What? Tama-chan's here? Oh, that's right. I remember I promised her that we'd go and play games in the park. Oh, man. I really don't want to go out in this cold weather. Tama-chan took the trouble to come here, so you should go. No way. Can you tell her that I can't go? Make up some excuse like I have a cold. I've decided I'm not going to leave the house until spring arrives. No, I won't do that. You're just lazy. Now, you can't keep Tama-chan waiting like this, so get a move on. I don't wanna. Fine, then you can tell Tama-chan yourself. Be honest and say you don't want to because it's cold. Come on, why are you being so mean to me, Mom? Please, can't you cooperate with me just this one time? You amaze me sometimes, you know. Tama-chan, I'm sorry. Maru-chan seems to have caught a cold. She can't go out. Really? In truth, she doesn't want to go out because it's cold, isn't it? See, I heard her say so. <laughs> what? Tama-chan heard everything I said to you? Oh, boy, embarrassing. Yes, I felt too embarrassed to look at her. The monkey show of a mother and her daughter was pretty obvious to her there. I guess. What's this? What's going on here? Every one of you is seated at the kotatsu. How lazy are you? Hey, Maruko, can you go and do an errand for me? No, it's too cold for that. Fine, then. Sakiko, will you go, then? No, I'm anti-smoking. I'm not supporting your bad habits. Uh, I feel lonely at times like this. I have no family, and I'm all alone in this big world. Maruko, you can be the first one to take your bath today. No, I don't want to take a bath. It's too much trouble. That's just filthy. You didn't take one yesterday. That's okay. It doesn't matter if I'm a little dirty, right? It does! <laughs> Go, right now. Uh, you scared me. <laughs> it's way too cold. Even the short walk to the bathroom is hard to handle. Man, I wish I could live carrying a kotatsu on my back like a snail does with its home. That would make life better. Are you sure that kind of life would make you happy? I need hot water. It's way too... Ah! You're kidding me. Why is the water so hot? I'll boil if I step foot in this. Jeez, you really should check the temperature of the hot water, Mom. Let me cool it down. <laughs> it's hot even for this weather. Not that that makes any sense. So confusing. 
I put too much cold water in here and I'm feeling it. I'm stuck, because if I get out of the tub now, I'm done for. It's too cold. When this happens, all you can do is wait for the water to warm up. All the while beating yourself up for adding too much cold water to begin with. Hey, Mom, thanks. The water temperature in the tub was really high. Be more careful. Was it? I'm sorry. Huh? It's Kinchan. Awesome. I've got a watch. You should go to bed immediately, or your body will get too cold. Then you won't sleep. Sure, after this. Fine. I can take my bath then. <laughs> Kin Chan rocks. I'm getting so tired and sleepy now. Chocolate peanuts. Ugh. I'm suffocating. I feel as if my bare feet are getting grilled by an infrared ray. Huh? Who's laughing? <laughs> Kotatsu! It's Kenchan! Hey, you shouldn't sleep at the Kotatsu. No! I'm sorry, Kenchan! <laughs> Why are you dreaming about Kinchan? <laughs> hey, you're already in bed, sis? Of course I'm in bed. If I don't go to bed right after my bath, my body will get too cold. Can I please sleep in your futon tonight, sis? No way! How can you be such a cold woman? You don't care about the welfare of your baby sister. You can say whatever you like. Uh, please, come on, I'm cold. My feet are freezing right now. I won't be able to get any sleep. Oh, be quiet. I've had enough of your whining. Go to bed. Uh, and listen, if you even slightly interrupt my sleep again, I'll knock you out. You hear me? Uh, how narrow-minded can my sister get? What was that? I just heard footsteps. Ah, a ghost! <laughs> Grandpa, it's just me. Oh, it's just Maruko. Good. What are you doing up, huh? Uh, I'm feeling too cold to fall asleep, so I'm walking about. You must feel lousy. I'm sorry about that. Hey, let's have a hot drink. That ought to warm you up some. Wow, that's so good. There's plenty more where that came from, so don't hesitate to help yourself, okay? <sighs> I'm so glad. Oh, my wonderful hot drink. Oh, sake. Oh, a flower of my sweet home is blooming in a teacup. I feel much better now. Good, I'm happy. So now you can sleep. <laughs> wow, I froze up just as soon as I got off the warm kotatsu. I think I'm gonna go sleep with Mom. It's too cold for this. Hmm? Maruko? What's the matter now? It's just, I'm too cold to sleep. Can I jump in with you? I did tell you to jump into bed right after your bath, didn't I, Maruko? Sure, jump in here with me. My futon's nice and cozy. Thank you, Dad. My dad can be such a sweet guy. I'm sorry I didn't go out to run errands for you. When spring comes, I'll go do it every day if you want. Finally, I can get some sleep. Thanks, Dad, I mean it. Sure, no problem. Uh, Dad, you've been farting, haven't you? You bet I have. And I use the heat that emerges from the farts to keep the futon nice and warm on the inside. You have no idea how useful farts can be. <laughs> Horrible. Dad is farting all over the place and Mom is as cold as ice. I guess I'm just gonna have to sleep in my own bed after all. Unbelievable. Sis fell asleep a long time ago, didn't she? Lucky her. It's freezing. Even the backs of my feet are cold. I hope my futon doesn't take too long to warm up. Since then, who knows how many minutes have passed. Finally, it starts to happen. Her body is warming up, and gradually, Maruko is drawn into the beautiful mood of sleep. Suddenly... 
she is brutally attacked by the call of nature. I'm in a weird situation here. I'm finally beginning to warm up. But it's all ruined if I go to the bathroom. Man, I shouldn't have had that hot drink with Grandpa. Wrong decision. I can't believe I made such a bad call. I have to keep my mind off it. Then I'll be able to get some sleep. And once I've fallen asleep, I may be able to hold it until morning. Right. Just forget about it and try to fall asleep. Uh -oh. I'm beginning to feel sleepy now. Way to go, Maruko. Keep it going. Need the bathroom! Uh, is someone in there? Ah! Too much liquid before bedtime. Bad. Kinchan! This isn't working. I have to use the bathroom or I'll never fall asleep. So Maruko used the bathroom at last. And after she did, she was unable to fall asleep for a very long time. Maruko, get up now. Please, Mom, let me sleep. You don't have time to sleep, so get up! Besides, Tamachan will be here very soon to get you. No, oh, I was too cold to sleep last night. Just leave me alone. So I'm taking a day off. When Tamachan gets here, tell her I'm not going to school. You're going! Winter lasts long. Cold weather is no excuse. No way I'm sleepy. I'm not going to school today, okay? Maru-chan! <laughs> Tamachan is here. If we speak loudly, she'll hear us again. <sighs> Fine. I'll let you skip today, but this is it. Thanks, Mom. Good morning, Tamachan. Sorry you took the trouble to come and pick Maruko up, but this time she really does have a cold and she'll be taking a day off from school. Really? In truth, Maru-chan's skipping school because she's sleepy, right? I know because I could hear Maru-chan's voice outside. Once again, the mother and child monkey show is quite apparent to Tama-chan. Mother doesn't know how she can look her in the eye. All she can do is allow this tidal wave of humiliation to completely engulf her.